Hey guys, so for this video I decided to do a two-in-one video. I will be doing an unboxing of an item and also an unboxing of my October Ipsy bag and I'm excited to do both. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So a little history on this first item. So I like was thinking about like shopping around for brushes just because I've been needing brushes for like a long time. It was like I was in really dire need of brushes, you guys. Like they were just bad and I just knew I needed new brushes. So I was talking to my boyfriend one time just like, you know, just telling him that I needed new brushes and stuff and that I wanted to look for some and whatnot. So long story short, one day after um, he came home from school in West running some errands he surprised me with some new brushes and I was super excited because I was really eyeing these like this brand of brushes and so like he actually got them for me and I didn't ask for them and I didn't even tell him like you know that that's what I was looking for but um it was just like really sweet of him so I was happy so the brushes that he got me were from Sonia Kushuk and um I think that's how you say it it's the um 15th anniversary limited edition and so um yeah he saw these on his way to the food aisle and he thought of me and he got them for me and I was super happy for that and um it was just like a really thoughtful gift because I was seriously thinking of buying them and um, I was like looking at Sephora because my old brushes were from Sephora and so I was thinking of spending like $60 but he ended up just spending like $40 on this so I was really glad he got these for me because I was really looking into new brushes and I was thinking of going to like Sephora because that's where I got my last brushes and they were like $60 last time so um, and it was like five brushes so I had to buy some additional brushes to kind of like do the job of whatever I was trying to do whichever makeup look I was trying to achieve and so um yeah so I was really excited when he got this and it has like the 15 brushes and um, 15 brushes for the 15th anniversary and um what first caught my eye are the little golden handles they're golden handles with purple and that just really caught my eye and um the purple um brushes i didn't really like them at first just because like i'm not really like into purple i was expecting them to be like black or something but really it grew on me um after i took a closer look at the brushes i just saw that they were so gorgeous and so i haven't opened it yet and um i just want to feel it and see how they Feel, but I've heard so many great reviews about this product that I'm so excited to actually try it myself and yeah I've been making new brushes so I'm pretty sure any brush set would work for me at this point it can be you know something as cheap as elf something for the dollar store I can probably that would probably work better than what my current brushes are working at right now but um yeah I was looking at this brand before he even got it for me because right now I just can't be affording to be spending so much money because you know brushes and makeup that are high-end are just super expensive and right now I can't afford it and I've heard so many good reviews about the Sonia brushes that I thought like okay her you know she they're like high-end quality but in like a drugstore so like you can get like your bang for your buck and stuff so I thought like okay I definitely need to look into these brushes because they're affordable they seem like they work really well from all the other reviews so I thought why not but he got them for me so that made me happy and here they are in their mind let's go ahead and start opening this box that's how it looks without the little cover it's just really pretty brushes 15 of them and I'll read on here what they each are so if you guys can't see my face for a second that's because I'm reading the back of the box okay so it says on here so it contains a powder brush, a blusher brush, a dual fiber buffing brush, a synthetic angled multi-purpose brush, contour brush, a foundation brush, a concealer brush, a blending brush, a crease brush, a small eyeshadow brush, a fluffy eyeshadow brush, a precision smudge brush, 
a synthetic angled liner brush and a smudge brush and a spoolie. So I'm really excited because I've been, like I said, I've been really looking forward to buying a new brush set. And these brushes are so gorgeous and they were so inexpensive and my boyfriend got them for me. So um, let's go ahead and actually feel how the brushes feel on my skin. Okay guys, so I'm just filling out my skin. Skin. and you know why I love it it feels so much better than my old brushes and I can't wait to actually use these so yeah so I'm gonna be really careful with these brushes and really take care of them and try to make them last as long as they can because I think they're just gorgeous you guys come on you guys you guys don't think these brushes are gorgeous they're so beautiful so I really don't know what else to do from my unboxing besides just filling the brushes on my skin and showing you guys how they look. Um, I guess I could try them on with some makeup and I'm really looking forward to doing some new tutorials using these brushes. It just seems like they would make my look look that much better. So yeah, so overall from this unboxing of looking at these brushes and feeling them on my skin, I would say that I would have to give them an 8 to a 10. Actually, you know what? I'm giving them a 10 right now because I haven't tried them on yet. Um, and once I start to like actually use them, I'll let you guys know how they feel like on my skin when I'm actually applying some makeup and also like how my makeup look looks. So um, also you guys would be able to tell from my videos, like when I start actually using them, whether like it does make a difference from my old videos. So um, yeah, let's wrap this up and I'll be showing you guys some new makeup tutorials later on. So on to unboxing my Ipsy bag. <laughs> okay, so as usual, I'm showing you guys the pink glamorous bag. So I haven't opened this and I haven't seen what's in here but let's find out. It's like Christmas for both of us. Okay so there's an item out of the bag and the first item that I pulled out are these wipes. They're skin Iceland solutions for stressed skin. And you guys, I'm really glad these came in because I've actually been wanting to buy new wipes. I usually buy my um, makeup removing wipes from Costco just because they're like a better deal. But I've been kind of like eyeing different wipes out there and I've been wanting to try some new wipes. So I'm really excited that these came in because it'll give me the option to actually look around. So I'm really excited for these. Oh my god, you guys. Look at this bag. It's so cute. It kind of goes with my shirt in a way. I love how it's like teal and then it has like these like squares on them. I think this is a really cute bag. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so the first thing I pulled out is this, oh my god, um, Mika Beauty Cosmetics shimmer powder okay so it's 34 harlequin and so it's some eyeshadow powder i'm sure i never tried any eyeshadow powder before so i'm kind of curious to see how this works out okay so that elf powder translucent powder thing that i got um it, i tried it out you guys i mentioned it in my last video it was my um haul drugstore haul video and i tried it out and it's like loose powder and i don't really buy loose powder stuff but to be honest the only thing that like i didn't like about that powder or yeah I didn't like about it was that it was like loose powder because it just got everywhere and I didn't know what to do when it just like made it for a bad experience but I'll keep on trying at it and trying to see if there's different ways I can keep it nice and cleaner but um yeah I'm curious to try this out but I like that it's an eyeshadow because it's my first time actually getting that eyeshadow in my ipsy bag and I'm just that makes me so excited you guys so I like that Okay, so the next thing I'm pulling out is this A Air Spotty Butter Pantagonia. So I'm pretty, it says with essential oils of jasmine and rosemary. And so I'm opening that up. Okay. 
Okay, it definitely smells like some type of lotion. It's not like a really yummy smell, and it's not a like gross smell, but it's it's an okay smell. It's something you can wear and not like disturb your neighbor or whoever's sitting next to you. But I'm definitely glad I got this because I'm always willing to try new lotions and moisturizers because I tend to use a lot of those like on my face and on my um, hands especially. They just get a little bit more drier especially in the winter. So I'm excited to try that. Oh my god you guys. Okay so I'm pulling this out and I see this little lipstick. Oh my god, you guys, isn't that the cutest thing ever? It reminds me of like little lipsticks I used to have when I was like a little girl. Um, they were tiny little lipsticks and I always thought they were like the cutest thing ever. But I remember how to wear this as an, as an adult. So it's all natural, deeply in mauve. You guys know that I love my mauve colors. So this is amazing, I'm totally going to wear this, I love this, this is like my favorite thing out of this bag. Oh my god, I'm so excited guys. Okay, so the next thing I'm pulling out is this moisturizing cream face cleanser, cucumber and watermelon. Water, okay you guys, let me back up, it says cucumber and water crust. So it's not watermelon, I don't know why I read it. This is how it looks. Um, it's fragrance free, which is good, and it washes away impurities without drying or irritating your skin, which is an extra plus because I can't deal with any more stressing out of my skin. I'm trying to prevent any acne and any, like, any bad stuff happening to my skin, and I try to take care of it as much as I can because you only live once and your skin can only withhold so much toxins and whatnot. So, um, yes, um, I love this, 100% natural, USDA certified, and it's organic. Wow. So, I wonder how much this costs, and, um, I'm so excited to use this, guys. And I love washing my face with some, um, Scrub cleansers. Right now I'm using the Oil of Olay um, Fresh Effects, I think that's what it's called, and it works amazing. I used the Oil Free Wash last time, and I moved on to the Acne Free one with the Tangerine, and it works amazing. Well, I like it. It feels like it's really getting in there and cleaning my face, but I'm really excited to try this out. I'm always excited to try new things. Okay, so that concludes my Ipsy bag for October. And you guys, I love all the items in my bag this month. Um, I especially love the lipstick. Um, I'm definitely going to be wearing this, so watch out. The other thing I like is this eyeshadow. I'm like scared about the like powderness of it, but um, it has it's like a really pretty green. I don't have any green eyeshadows, so I'm really excited to try this out. Um, and especially this face cleanser. I'm really excited to try this. I'm going to definitely try this as soon as I can, probably tonight. And I love this cute little bottle of um, body butter. And I am going to definitely start using this as soon as I can. I'm just going to throw it in my backpack and use it when I go to school because sometimes my hands just get really dry in between classes and that way, you know, I keep my hands hydrated and nice and moisturized. And last but not least, the wipes. I'm excited to try these because again, I said I've been looking around for new wipes. I'm almost out of the Costco ones. There couldn't be any better timing for a new wipes. And so, yeah. So if you guys want to know specifically anything more about any of these items, just let me know. So I hope you guys enjoyed my October Ipsy unboxing. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like this video and share it. And if you guys are not yet subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. I upload every Tuesday and you guys don't want to miss any of my videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! 
Hey guys, so if you guys are wondering why I'm wearing this makeup, um, it's because I just finished filming my first um, Halloween tutorial makeup inspired for Halloween and it is a cat makeup inspired tutorial. 